Clerk, I remind the Senate that it should now choose one of its members to be president. I move that Senator Slade Brockman, a senator from the great state of Western Australia, take the chair of the Senate as its president. Are there any further nominations? Senator Waters. I propose to the Senate for its president, Senator Faruqi, and I move that Senator Faruqi take the chair as president. Are there any further nominations? There being two nominations, I invite the candidates to address the Senate. Senator Brockman. Thank you. Firstly, can I acknowledge my colleagues for the, from the government who have nominated me for this role? It is humbling simply to be nominated. As the previous president said at his nomination, this is not a circumstance that I thought would ever present itself. The position and the role of the Senate in our democracy is something that has always been the focus of my political interest and much of my career. The Senate plays a unique role in our democracy, first as the state's house, but also as the guardian of our fine and effective committee system. It gives voice to diverse, diverse groups across our various constituencies and to interests that might not otherwise be heard. If elected, I will always strive to maintain and champion the place of the Senate in our democracy and to work with all of you with fairness and impartiality. I would seek to continue the tradition of the two presidents I have served under in this place, Senator Parry and Senator Ryan, both fine people and fine defenders of this institution. I submit myself to the will of the Senate. <laughs> Senator Faruqi. Um, thank you. Colleagues, can I start by saying what a huge privilege it is to represent my wonderful state of New South Wales in the Senate. And thank you so much to my colleagues for nominating me, and especially today, it is wonderful to be joined by two incredible black senators, Senator Cox and Senator Thorpe, and be standing here with our team, which actually respects and celebrates the First Nations culture and diversity in Australia. You know, the Senate is a place where a huge diversity of political views are heard. And it is important that the Senate is facilitated by people who can also represent that plurality. But what we see again and again is a stitch up between the two major parties, the Liberals and the Labour Party. And we see it again today. And this is not the first time it has happened. We talk about democracy here. This is a chamber of review. But again and again, democracy is shut down. How many times have we seen, just in the last couple of years, debate being shut down by guillotine motions? We stopped the notices of motion as formal business. And that shuts, shuts out the plurality of views that are represented in this parliament. And to my colleagues in the Labour Party, if you really want to be an opposition, then act like one. In the history of the Senate, there has only been one woman in that chair. And that was decades ago. So if, you, if you, you, we've been talking about gender e equity all this year, if you really care about gender equity, then things need to change. You know, I would be very honored to facilitate this chamber as the second woman ever in history and the first woman of color. It is time to shake things up. Yeah. It's time for change. Yeah. Unless any other senator wishes to address the nominations, a ballot will now be held. Before proceeding to ballot, the, be the bells will be rung for four minutes.
Senators. The Senate will now proceed to a ballot. If you could resume your seats, please. Ballot papers will be distributed. Please write on the ballot paper the name of the candidate you wish to vote for. The candidates are Senator Brockman and Senator Faruqi. Have uh, senators, have all senators voted?
Thank you, Senators. The ballot will now be counted. I invite Senator Dean Smith and Senator McKim to act as scrutineers. Order. Senators, the result of the ballot is as follows. Senator Brockman, 45 votes. Senator Faruqi, 7 votes. Senator Gavin Marshall, 1 vote. <laughs> 1 vote returned blank. Senator Brockman is therefore elected President of the Senate in accordance with the standing orders. happened to the chair? I sincerely thank the Senate for its support and I thank you for the great honour you have given me today. 
I also welcome our two new senators, Senator Grogan and Senator Cox. I have not met you yet, but I look forward to meeting you and working with you in the future. As I've said, I did not expect to be in this role, certainly not at this time. Senator Scott Ryan was, uh, I should never say this, but younger than me, and I expected him to be round as president for a very long time. And I wish for a moment to honour former President Ryan. President Ryan displayed, particularly in the difficult two years that we have just been through, a calmness, an intellect, a, le a level of pragmatism that helped us all navigate this pandemic. He upheld the finest traditions of this institution whilst recognising the need to adapt to circumstances. I personally wish to honour his service to the nation and to the Senate. If you will indulge me at this once, uh, I would also like to acknowledge my family. Uh, we cannot do this job without the support of those back at home. I could not do what I do without Rebecca and Jonathan, Eleanor and Felicity. You have my thanks and you have my love. My goals are quite straightforward. For as long as I hold this position, I will act to, to defend the interests of senators and the Senate itself. Whilst a diverse range of perspectives are represented in this chamber, I will tre treat each of you as duly elected and equal representatives of your states. I will take your arguments on their merits and seek to act impartially at all times. I thank you once again for the distinguished honour that you have granted me. Senator Birmingham. Mr President, I inform honourable senators that the Governor-General will be pleased to receive the President and party leaders or their representatives in the President's suite immediately. Senator, Senator Birmingham. Should add, having thought that I needed to stick to the book, <laughs> and I was just sticking to the script in the book, but I should indeed add my very sincere congratulations to you. My acknowledgement and thanks of the words you have given, uh, firstly to this chamber, your commitment uh, to the chamber in terms of upholding the traditions and conventions of the Senate, the respect and place of each individual senator, no matter their diverse views, in terms of the way in which uh, they approach their business and the need for uh, their rights to be respected as well. I was pleased to nominate you on behalf of the government, knowing, Mr President, that you will perform these duties diligently, competently uh, and indeed uh, with a deep history in this place as a senator uh, but also in your work prior to that and your understanding of the important roles of government, opposition and minor parties across the chamber in terms of their work. I thank you for your kind words in relation uh, to Senator Ryan or former Senator Ryan. Uh, Scott is a dear friend, uh, was a very valued colleague throughout uh, his time and indeed was a president I think admired and respected across this chamber. You fill big shoes in relation to taking on the presidency uh, following Scott Ryan. I know we will wish Scott, Helen uh, and uh, their children every success and happiness in the future, uh, that we thank Scott uh, for the way in which he fulfilled the role uh, with humility and with dignity, always with the interests of this chamber at heart as a senator uh, for the way in which he engaged in a principled manner, true always to his uh, values, to his interpretation of liberal values and traditions and customs and principles, uh, the way in which he engaged strongly on behalf of his state and fulfilled a number of roles through this place, including his service as a minister. He will be missed. You are now welcomed in the chair and we look forward to the leadership that you provide to this place. Senator Wong. Thank you, Mr President. And on behalf of the opposition, I join with the Leader of the Government and the Senate in extending our congratulations to you on your election to the Office of President. And we do note that your election is in keeping with the long-standing convention of the Senate, that the government of the day has the right to nominate the president, because this is essential to our democracy, because it goes to the functioning, effective functioning of this chamber. So I thank Senator Birmingham and I thank Senator Cash for their commitment to the permanence of this convention. In a chamber where no one party of government holds a majority, conventions such as these, Order. that government and opposition senators hold the role of president and deputy president respectively, matter. 
This is the chamber in which executive government is held to account Senator but in Ford. a way that Order. rarely occurs in the House of Representatives. And, Mr President, impartiality and objectivity are essential qualities for any president. And as the opposition, we obviously look forward to you maintaining that even-handed approach. We also look forward to you being a defender of the place of the Senate in our constitutional system of government, of its mandate conferred by the people to review, reject or amend legislation, and of its privileges. I note, Senator Brockman, that you come to office with just over four years' experience as a senator. That is significantly less than the average of 11 years for most senators presuming this position. This does mean you will bring a different perspective to the position from most presidents who have preceded you, and I hope and trust this will be a positive for the Senate. I would also like to make some remarks about former Senator Ryan, who has served, had served as our president since 2017. As I've said publicly, Scott Ryan deserves to be remembered as one of the great presidents of the Australian Senate, a strong believer in liberalism and in democracy, and someone who sought to defend and enhance the role of the Senate and the privileges of the parliament. He discharged the responsibilities of his office fairly and with distinction and worked hard to be a consultative president, another essential quality of a holder of the position. Scott Ryan had a deep understanding of and a personal commitment to the role and importance of the Senate in our democracy. And I hope and I have listened to you today, Mr President, uh, as to seeking to emulate Scott Ryan in the discharge of your work as president. So once again, on behalf of the opposition and personally, Mr President, I congratulate you on your election and we look forward to working with you. Senator McKenzie. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, I rise today on behalf of National Party Senators to congratulate you on your appointment to the highest office of President of the Senate. The last Western Australian Senate President was Michael Behan in the years 94 to 96, and here we are 25 years later with a president and also a deputy president from the great state of Western Australia. The office of president is an important one, and Mr President, I know you'll take seriously the duty of fairness and impartiality that are, in my view, fundamental requirements for the role in this chamber. Whilst debate can occasionally become heated in this place, I know your calm manner and respect for the standing orders will be valuable in maintaining productive and respectful debate that we're known for. The Nationals would also like to note your background as a proud advocate for rural and regional Australia, having grown up on a family farm, running it and working in the Pastoralists and Graziers Associations and Australian Grains Champion. It's nice to have uh, someone that understands the regions and uh, what we need from Parliament uh, in a role such as yours. We look forward to continuing to work with you in your new role, and we wish you all the very best and know you'll do a great job. Mr President, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank your predecessor, uh, a lovely Victorian senator, former President Scott Ryan. Upon announcing his retirement, Senator Wong said that former President Ryan deserves to be remembered as one of the great presidents of the Australian Senate, and I agree. Speaker Smith and former President Ryan steered this parliament through a very difficult time during the course of the pandemic. It is a remarkable achievement that this parliament was able to continue to operate during these very difficult times, which has been vital to ensuring that the legislative arm of government was able to continue holding and those in the opposition were able to hold government to account. Inquiries and committees that are such, so fundamental to our work as senators are uh, on behalf of the people who sent us here. So on behalf of the Nationals, I'd like to thank uh, former Senator Scott Ryan for his services in this place, not just as a senator, but as a president who always put this chamber and its place in our democracy uh, first. Senator Waters. I rise on behalf of the Australian Greens to offer my congratulations to you as our new president, Senator Brockman. Uh, whilst there is a convention that the big parties agree upon who will fill the role of president and deputy president, the Greens don't think that that stitch-up serves democracy, and hence we nominated a strong and fabulous woman of colour uh, who would have been a brilliant president. It was not to be this time around. Um, however, I think that, uh, President, you have a very good temperament to be fulfilling the role of president, and we wish you well in those endeavours. I note that in your speech to Senator Seawitz valedictory, you spoke of your experience working with her uh, as policy director for the Pastoralists and Graziers Association, where you learnt about the possibility of bridges being built across the partisan divides of this chamber. 
I look forward to working with you in continuation of that spirit and ensuring that this chamber continues to fulfil its role uh, as a house of review and a place where we hold the government of the day to account. I'd like to say a few brief words about former Senator and former President uh, Scott Ryan. Uh, during the time of his presidency, uh, he was an impartial and fair chair. We had a positive uh, working relationship, and obviously, whilst we have fundamental uh, differences of opinion on many matters, he always had an open door. And I particularly would like to acknowledge and commend the work that he did on a remote parliament in a global pandemic. Uh, he has steered us and this chamber um, in a good direction over that time. Uh, the work of, of Senator Ryan in enabling the Senate to continue its role during those challenging times, along with all of the work that went in by so many other people in this place to make that happen, uh, deserves commendation. And of course, we wish him and his family well in his uh, coming endeavours. Senator Patrick. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just uh, rise. Uh, I, I know I speak on behalf of the crossbench in saying that uh, Scott Ryan was a fantastic president. Uh, he served the uh, the uh, Senate very well. I wish to congratulate you on your uh, election uh, to the role of president. I've s uh, served with you on the select Senate Select Committee on the multi-jurisdictional um, management of the, uh, of the Murray-Darling and indeed on the Economics Committee, and you've always been fair. Uh, I haven't seen you raise your voice in the Senate, so I'm looking forward to question time today. <laughs> Senator Lyons. Thank you, Mr President. I rise as Deputy President to congratulate you on your election this morning. I look forward to working with you. I note you'll be the third president um, I've worked with, and I'm not sure if that says something about the government or something about us as, as uh, the opposition, but I do look forward to working with you, as I discussed um, with you when we met in Western Australia a couple of weeks ago, that I've seen you, you work as chair of committees and you've always been very fair. And, I look forward to that uh, fairness. And I also pay my respects to um, Scott Ryan as the previous president. Um, he had a very calm way of working, and I know that you do too, and I, I look forward to that uh, continued calmness. So congratulations on your appointment today. There being no further contributions, the sitting of the Senate is suspended until the ringing of the bells.